our first example of a triangle is that from a Jimmy John's delivery sign. It is an equilateral triangle where all three sides are the same length. Our second triangle is formed by the metal supports of a canopy. Notice it is a scalene triangle because all three sides have different lengths. The triangle in this picture is found above the entrance of an apartment building. Notice the yellow and brown sides are the same length. In this triangle, we notice that one of the angles is larger than 90 degrees. Whenever a triangle has an angle larger than 90 degrees, we have an obtuse triangle. Here we have an equiangular triangle, which means that all of the angles formed by the sides have the same measure. An equiangular triangle is also automatically an equilateral triangle. This next example is of a right triangle. In the upper right hand corner you'll notice that both legs form a 90 degree angle indicated by the red lines. Each internal angle in this triangle can be split into two equal parts by making an angle bisector. All three angle bisectors will meet at one point which would allow us to create a circle that would fit just inside the triangle. In this picture the shaded line represents what is called the altitude of the triangle. It is the perpendicular distance from the vertex to the side opposite. In this picture we will take a look at medians, which are the segments that are formed when a vertex is connected to the midpoint on the side opposite of it. When all three medians are connected, they meet at a point called the centroid. The centroid is the balancing point of the triangle. In this picture we will show how the perpendicular bisectors of each side of a triangle can help us create a circle that goes completely around the triangle only touching at the corners. The perpendicular bisectors will intersect each side of the triangle at a 90 degree angle splitting the side into two equal segments. Triangles as well as other geometric figures are part of our everyday lives. Geometry, architecture, engineering, and art go hand in hand. To see the relationship, all you have to do is look around you.